and country time. neighbor. This is Connie B. Gay saying, pull up your nail keg and join us for a visit with Jimmy Dean and the Texas Wildcats, Mary Click, Quincy Snodgrass, and Fiddlin' Buck Ryan. Our dancers for this session, the Kentucky Running Set, our special guest, Little Mary Ballas. But first, here's Jimmy Dean. Yes, sir. Here we go with another session of town and country time. Good people everywhere. We'll be back in about 60 seconds. Y'all wait on us, won't you? And as I said, welcome to our show, good people out there everywhere. We got the usual town and country time gang, Little Mary Click, Quincy Snodgrass, Buck Ryan, all the Texas Wildcats. Our guest for today will be Little Mary, and our uh, dance team will be the Kentucky Running Set. Before we get into that, I'd like to sing one for you, if I may. Buck, if you'll kick it off, let's go with it. Hey, Joe. Come here, youngin. You're looking pretty today, oh, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. She's sweet as snuff. All sweet. What you gonna sing for us, honey? You flopped when you got me alive. <laughs> I won't, I promise. Let's go. <laughs> But you've done a whole lot better. 
making you flop when I got you alone. Right now, we're going to turn you over to some real fine dancing, we think. They're called the Tuck Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky Running Scent, and here they are. <laughs> Kentucky running set. Them people take off like a good shot cat, don't they? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Kentucky running set and a fine job, by golly. We got a little girl now that's no stranger here on town in country time. She's been here before and she'll probably be here again. But let's give her a nice welcome. Little Mary, come on out here. Howdy, baby doll. We're sure getting friendly. Yeah, we're <laughs> What you gonna do for us, youngin'? Who shot the hole in my sombrero? I have no idea, but let's try it, all right? Oh, who shot the hole in my sombrero? Who put the bullet through the hat? Now, who shot the hole in my sombrero? Now, who would do a terrible thing like that? Was it Nita or Lolita? Are they jealous called a Lisa? Was it Pancho from the rancho? Did he do this? Cause I kiss his wife. <clears throat> <clears throat> better I get on my horse and gallop far away. With bullets flying everywhere, it isn't safe to say. Some hungry sure is mad at me, so I don't hang around. The neck hole that the bullet make it maybe lower down. Now who shot the hole in my sombrero? <laughs> who put a bullet through the hat? Now who shot the hole in my sombrero? And who would do a terrible thing like that? again one of these days. I know you folks enjoy her just as much as we do. Bucky, you got that fiddle tuned down like Grandpa? That's the way uh, Grandpa That's pretty good, I think. You think it'll be all right? How about a little bit of the Black Mountain Blues? How about right? Jimmy?
seen him tuck that fiddle under that chin and grin like a possum eating briars and walk off of several fiddling contests playing that Black Mountain Blues. We think he's a pretty good boy. We got to stop for a second. We'll be back, though. Y'all stay with us, won't you? And right back at you, good people, to keep things rolling oh, along, my God. Good day, Jim Bean. How you doing, boy? <laughs> hey, ain't seen you in a long time, Good buddy. Snodgrass, you are looking fine. Oh, buddy. I feel really... good, Jim. I, sure do. I hear you've been down Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, I've been down Mobile. How do you like it down there? Oh, I like it pretty good myself, but old Brother Bill, he don't care much for it. Brother Bill don't like it? No, you know what he done? He walked in a drugstore, he drank a whole quart of turpentine, ate a big box of them big old horse pills, you know, yeah. pulled out and bang, 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 killed three people just dead in the door. What'd they do to him, Glenn? Oh, they gave him two weeks. Two weeks for murder? Well, you see, they gave him two weeks and then they hung him. I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. that. That ain't what I feel so bad about. Old Brother Bill owed me two dollars and I want my money. You're awful. Awful? Yes, you're awful. I mean, after all, Bill's dead and gone, Quinn. So is my $2. That ain't nice, <laughs> now, quit it. I got it all figured out, though, Jim. I'm gonna collect my $2. I got it all figured out how to do it. You're gonna collect? Yeah, see, when I die and go to heaven, I'm gonna walk up to old Brother Bill, and I'm gonna say, Dear Brother Bill, where's the two bucks you owe me? You're gonna walk right up to him, give me the two bucks. Give me the two bucks. I can see it. There's just one thing you ain't thought about. What's that? What if old Bill don't go to him? Well, in that case, you collect it and send it to now me. Now, you get out of here. <laughs> Gracious, call the mechanic mama that nuts loose again. By golly, Quincy Snodgrass. He's a pretty good old boy, though, all in all. Mary Flick, it's about time for you to do another, I think, honey. I'm always sitting down. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. Heck, we get tired once in a while, maybe, huh? What you gonna do for it? One and one is two, baby. That's a brilliant reduction, <laughs>
and one makes two. Smart. That's a brilliant deduction. <laughs> one and one makes two. Right now, we got some fine dancing for the second time on the show. Here they are, the very wonderful Kentucky running set. Let her rip. <laughs> Country time, man. It's a Kentucky running set coming in by head. <laughs> real fine job, young'uns. A real fine job. Herbie, if you give me a little bit of a kick off here, I'm gonna try to sing one called the Chattanooga Shoe Shine okay. Boys. You ready? Bops a boogie woogie rag, Chattanooga shoe shine boy. Well, he charges you with nickel just to shine one shoe. Makes the oldest kind of leather look like new. You feel as though you want to dance when he gets to. He's a great big bundle of joy. Bops a boogie woogie rag, Chattanooga shoe shine boy. It's a wonder that the rag don't tear the way he Pop. Well, you ought to hear him fan the air. Well, it's hippity, 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 hop, hip, hop, hey, the business clock strikes nine. Likes to get them early when they're feeling fine. Everybody gets a little ride and shine with a great big bundle of joy. He pops a boogie woogie rag, Chattanooga shoe shine boy, the boogie now. Boy, 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 hey, that's the business when the clock strikes nine, like the 
to get them early when they're feeling fine. Everybody gets a little rise and shine with a great big bundle of joy. He pops a boogie woogie rag, tat a new shoe shine boy. We'd like you to listen very carefully to this, friends. It's hymn time once again on Town and Country Time. We've chosen for our hymn in the sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we shall see it afar. For our Father waits over the way to prepare. smiling faces without a tear or a sigh in that land of the sweet forever in the sweet by and by in the sweet And that kind of does up this session of Town and Country Time, friends. We hope you've enjoyed it a whole bushel. We've enjoyed being with you. We hope you'll invite us again next week. Until then, speaking for all the Town and Country Time gang, the Texas Wildcats, Quincy Snodgrass, Little Mary Click, and Old Buck Ryan. Also for our special guest, Little Mary, and the wonderful Kentucky running set. This is always your old buddy Jimmy Dean saying thanks so much for being with us. God bless you and everybody down at your house.